Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Today is day five of the Sweet Spring Read series, and today we're going to be diving into the newest in historical fiction releases. I adore historical fiction, and if anything, I adore historical fiction more in the spring than any other time of the year. That's just strangely me. So I've got a few books here that I want to talk to you about, so let's get into it. The first book I want to talk to you about is The Room on Rue Amelie by Kristen Harmel. Now in this book we're following three perspectives. We've got an American woman, We've got a British pilot and we've got a young Jewish teenager. They're all living in occupied Paris during World War II. All of these people in this book are heartbroken in one way or another and all of these storylines interweave and I'm hoping at the end of the book their hearts are mended. That might be wishful thinking because it's a World War II historical fiction book, but it's kind of what I'm hoping for going into it. The next book I want to talk to you about is coming out in April, and this is The Home for Unwanted Girls by Joanna Goodman. This takes place in Quebec in the 1950s, and we follow a girl named Maggie who uh, falls in love with this French boy um, and they get pregnant totally by accident. Now her parents don't want her to keep the baby um, and they force her to keep to put Elodie, her child, up for adoption. Elodie ends up in an orphanage and it's not a great orphanage. Um, the orphanage somehow declares that she is like not mentally fully capable and um, they treat her really horribly and meanwhile um, Maggie has spent her whole life wondering what happened to her child and she decides at some point to go on the hunt for Elodie and to find her. It sounds really heartbreaking um, so if you are in need of a good tearjerker that one sounds like it'll do the job. Next up is Shadow Child by Rana Reiki Rizzuto. This is coming out in May and this takes place in 1970s New York and also World War II era Japan. And we're following three women. Um, two of those women are twins, Hannah and Kai, and they grew up in Hawaii in the 1950s and 60s. They're obviously incredibly close. However, their mother is really in a bad place. She is not stable in any way. It seems there is some kind of betrayal that happens and it breaks the twins apart for years and years and years until one day Kai arrives on Hannah's doorstep in Manhattan. So yeah, we're kind of following several storylines here. We've got the bombing of Hiroshima, we've got Japanese internment camps, we've got Hawaii in the 50s and 60s. Just sounds really interesting to me and uh, I hope it would be a good one. Next up we've got Love and Ruin by Paula McLean. This is set to come out on May 1st and this seems to be a sequel to uh, The Paris Wife. So we are following Ernest Hemingway again, but we follow a marriage that he had with Martha Gellhorn. And so Martha moves to Madrid in 1937 and she's there to report on the Spanish Civil War. And while she's there, she happens to meet Ernest Hemingway and falls in love and marries him. And it's about their storyline together. Another book coming out in May is Warlight by Michael Ondaatje. In this book we're following a brother and sister who live in London just after World War II. Now their parents move to Singapore. I don't know why they don't bring the kids, but they don't. So this brother and sister are living on their own, but they are also taking care of a very mysterious figure called the Moth. And they kind of think he might be a criminal and um, these people in this 
the moth's life starts showing up at their door. And these people are men and women who served in the war and they're all just interesting kinds of people. Years later, Nathaniel, um, I think the brother of, of this brother and sister pair, he starts to kind of unveil what really happened during this time, who the moth was, what happened with this brother and sister pair. So those are the historical fiction books that are coming out this spring that I think that you might be interested in reading. Um, let me know in the comments below if there are any other historical fiction coming out really soon that you're excited about, really soon that you're excited about. And I will see you tomorrow for books to read on a rainy day, aka books about stalkers. I'll see you then.